Welcome to Chris Parking Shooting Sports. I've received from the Sportsman Gun Centre another box. Now this one is another FX Air Rifle. It's not the King yet, the King is on the way, but this is a Continuum Crown. So this is in my favoured 22 FAC spec, I hope. Looks like a 22 mag. Um, let's just have a look and see if we can see a 22 sign anywhere. Obviously, I'm pretty sure it'll be a 22. But anyway, this is the synthetic stock. So we've still got a bit of adjustment at the back end, but because it's tougher, it's still ambidextrous, and we get that great compact performance that the crowns deliver. We've got slightly simpler power control on it. This is the FAC version, so I'll probably have up to, I don't know, 30 some foot pounds, maybe, maybe high 20s. We'll find out this afternoon when I go shoot it and test it, put it through the chronograph and see what it's developing because I'll be running it at max power. I've got a selection of slugs, I've got a selection of pellets for it, um, so we should be able to push it to its limits. Now, this has got Picatinny rail on top, magazine fits in there, so we'll need probably a fairly high scope mount solution to make sure we go over the top of the magazine. And I've also got one of the bottle clamps here so I can put a bipod on it and I will be adding a moderator. Now, it comes with, it's saying moderator in the case here. So we'll pop that on, we'll maybe do some uh, sound readings with and without the moderator, perhaps compare and contrast that with some other moderators. But I'll be running this as supply to start with because this is the kind of air rifle I really like. I'm more the hunter, more the field shooter. I don't like too much complication because I want something I can carry about. It's gonna be fairly efficient with air. And I'm gonna get good power out of it. And I don't really wanna be paying some time for a really nice laminate stock or even a walnut stock or something that's gonna get damaged because it's always gonna show the marks and the scratches. A synthetic's a bit more of a tool of a rifle and that kind of suits me. We've got the Foster connection on the bottom here. It comes with a Foster adapter. So that will just pop off there and fill it up and it's a 250 bar fill. We've also got regulator pressure on here too. So we can easily see when the regulator pressure starts getting close to the remaining fill pressure to know how long we can keep shooting for. Safety catch is two positions, fire and safe on the right hand side. As I said, we've got Picatinny rail on top. This has got side action cocking there. I'm just gonna do a safe drive fire on this. It's probably a single stage trigger and it is, oh, it's probably in safe, in fire mode. Yeah, that's super crisp and it's adjustable for position as well as weight settings and that's all covered in the FX manual. FX manuals are usually very detailed. We'll have all the, uh, the factors and figures in here about how to set it up, how to load the magazines, how to get it out shooting but I'm actually looking forward to this one because it's actually nice and frosty today. It's not raining, it's not windy, it's bright. So I'm getting straight out once I've put a scope on top of this. Probably gonna put a pad on top of it probably because I've got one set up ready with high mounts on it. So that's gonna go straight over the top of here and I can get out shooting, maybe even get out and do some ratting with it. Depends on how, we're, how they're feeling with the weather. This is the usual FX magazine system. So we rotate the lock there, take that off, rotate that all the way around to that position drop one pellet in there which will then lock the magazine then we can just fill all the back up and it'll just rotate under its own spring pressure so each time you get a fresh pellet presented to the chamber that's got a recess cut into it there which gives you a little bit more length for the slug options on this rifle but i think this is going to be one i'm going to be using with pellets predominantly i'm not sure which liner system this is using yet and of course we've got adjustability at the back end there so i'll probably just lift that recoil pad slightly for just better position in my shoulder but i won't cant it either side because i want it ambidextrous because i do quite like an air rifle i can shoot ambidextrous we've got a full shroud on the barrel here it's not the plenum that some of the newer rifles have got that's not necessarily a bad thing it does make the gun a little bit quieter and it also keeps a bit of stiffness on the barrel and liner system. It's a carbon fiber bottle. That looks like it's a 480 cc bottle. Yes, it is 0.48 liters. So I'm expecting we'll probably get, I don't know, 60 to 80 shots out of it maybe, but we'll see, we'll test it because I'm gonna be running these magazines. I think that's probably a 22 shot magazine. We'll, uh, we'll count that when I've used it and uh, we'll run it on some of the different power settings. Obviously the power settings here, so we can dial that when it's not cocked. You've just got a setting there for about midway, but I'll probably run it up at 23 at top. Um, and we've got the tuning options of high, medium or low. So I often find they work better on medium. That's just because I like the longevity and I'm not actually chasing ultimate power. I want the consistency as the gun is delivered. 
that stock has got a smooth finish. It's matte, it's not soft touch, which is good because soft touch finishes often go a little bit sticky over time. So I quite like that. And we've not got any kind of resonance coming from the stock, which means it's gonna be a nice quiet rifle for hunting with. So I'm looking forward to using this one. We have also got in here an additional barrel. I don't know anything about this one yet, but we shall certainly see as to what this is. And that says on it, so we've got the usual two stage there. Not sure it says what caliber it is on it. We've got the two different ports, whether we're using slug or whether we're using a pellet. But as for the caliber, it doesn't actually say, but I'm thinking that's gonna be another 22 caliber. But this is obviously a much longer barrel. If you compare the length of those barrels like that, you can see that's going to give me, like for like, with no other changes, probably more speed, more energy from the rifle. It'll likely be a little bit quieter too. So it'll be interesting trying those side by side. I've got an FAC spec in the laminate stock, the grey laminate crown too, that's actually still in the cabinet over there. But I have also done the Sub 12, which did a very, very big, good review for Sportsman on their channel themselves. Um, you can swap these barrels. Basically, you want to do the two grub screws at this side and the two grub screws at that side and the barrel just slots out. Um, if you need to change calibers, you can actually change the fill probe on these. These are both 22 fill probes. So you need the correct fill probe if you say go to a 30 cal, because when I did the Crown 2 FAC in the laminate stock, I had 22 and 30 cal. So check out the review on my channel because there's a massively in-depth feature review on that one. Essentially that rifle is the same as this one other than specific barrel length, caliber, and stock option. The stock won't really change the way it shoots, just changes the way it sort of adapts to your requirements from rifle, whether it's target or hunting. Right, those are my first impressions on this rifle. I'm gonna be putting this together, taking it out this afternoon, shoot some groups with it, see how it shoots on paper, see whether it prefers slugs or pellets, or you know whether it likes the sort of 16 grain pellets or the 18 grain pellets, or maybe even up to 25 grain slugs with it. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell, keep track of the regular uploads, and please go through to the end of the video and click on the link for the British Shooting Show 2024 at the NEC in Birmingham, and you can buy your tickets in advance because it's a great show, and if you're there, we might even bump into each other. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.